Бизнес Лайф. События предстоящих выходных и впечатлений недели. Немного светской хроники и много музыки. Гости программы и самое интересное. Life is Life с Юлией Гениев. Uh, we're live on air with Liz Mitchell. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. For you, is stage is performing, especially here on on east on the east coast. Is it does it feel like home already, or is it just is it just another trip? <laughs> well, it is it is home because my husband's American and my daughter lives in New York, and uh, of course, his his bloodline is uh, from you know North Carolina to New York to California. So, yeah, it's it's home. We know that stage for you has always been like it has has been life since 1968. Uh, so, but we also know you have a beautiful son named Aaron, and uh, for and for for us, your music is always celebration. But we also know that yeah. you partake in so much of the serious parts of business. For example, you have a fund to help children. You are mm -hmm. you are not shying away from from politics. Uh, so, mm -hmm. what is music for you? Is it that same celebration of life and joy? What is it like for you? Absolutely, music is life. It is a celebration of life, and I think that um, if I'm going to go into how I really feel about music, it feels like music is the first sound that was ever made, um, created as as the world, you know, was born. Whether it was um, a big bang sound, for me, the big bang sound was music, <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, You know, it's just what it is. It's it's it's, it's being able to hear the heartbeat in in the sounds mm -hmm. of people's thoughts and mm -hmm. their ideas when they pr produce a song. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, we know that uh, before jo joining Bonnie M, you had an opportunity to work with many many for with a different variety of musicals. So we're wondering if uh, uh, as Bonnie M as that big explosion showed up of. Music and celebration with the song "Sunny" as it hit the charts, as almost uh, everybody believed at some point that it would be a one-hit wonder. Uh, we are sitting here and wondering that if Frank Ferriano at his time would not have invited you to join Bonnie M, we probably would still be talking to you in the studio, but as a celebrity for musicals and probably musicals on Broadway. Would you would you agree to that? <laughs> You know, it's it, life is so interesting. Uh, you know, you can turn right here and you can turn left there. You can go straight ahead. And at the end of the day, when you choose a package, it's what's in the package is is you, you have to go with it. So, you know, I've often wondered to myself, um, what what would have happened had I not uh, accepted that phone call, you know, and uh, wandered over to Germany again at that time? It's difficult to say what would have happened and and for this reason i don't know <laughs> <laughs> at some point uh last year we had marco mendoza on one of our programs and he shared mm -hmm. us a story of his uh miracle phone call that he got and that changed his life completely and he told us that he remembered that like his teapot went off what the windows looked like what was the time of day what what exactly was he doing <laughs> thinking feeling do you remember what happened when you got that phone call mm -hmm. you know i don't even remember Uh, exactly what I was doing, but I do remember what was happening to me prior, and that was the, the for me so important. You know, um, I had a, a prayer, um, I had a vision that I have spoken about. I had quite a few things that happened, you know, one after the other, that kind of set me up for that moment and when that phone call came and I took it and and I saw the results I realized that miracles still do happen and it all depends on whether you are ready to receive it when God puts it on you mm -hmm. <laughs> we're about to play the song called daddy cool what does the song mean to you do you remember performing it do you remember feel when was the last time you were performing it I perform it in every show. Same as the Wagoda from from 1976. So since it was recorded, I'm telling you, I've sang that song a lot of times, <laughs> and um, I remember recording it as well. I remember, you know, we. I was not that uh, sure. Uh, but you know when you're a singer and you're making a record I've heard people say yeah that's a hit that's it but most of the time you're never really sure if the audience is going to go for the song that you've chosen 
to be the single. And uh, it was during our performances, like in the, as we promoted it in the nightclubs, that I realized that it had a specific energy and also the, 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 the daddy cool part of it. People really like that phrase, you know? Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, the song really has lasted mainly, I think, because it's got such a strong melody, such a strong beat and such a good phrase. Mm-hmm. Of course, we talked about how your music is always a celebration of life. It's always when when anybody here hears uh, Bonnie M music, it's always like this is this is when the party is actually starting. This is the true celebration of life. And we also know, of course, with all of your fun to help children with your record label with your incredible help with all the migrants from North Korea and of course the, the incredible story of the movie where uh, track Sunny played uh, the main part and people saw you as this idol of symbol of hope that they will be able to get out of there um, very important question because in 1976 when you were performing all of your hit songs which one was one of the ones that always stays in your mind which one is your favorite hit <laughs> Because this is a question I've never been able to really answer <laughs> clearly. And, 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 and it just leaves me feeling like I ought to be able to tell you one song. And I, I just really can't. Because as we talked about Daddy Cool, uh, Daddy Cool represents, uh, for me, the, the, just the, the story of every little girl who has a dad and sees the light in their dad's eyes. And then Sunny represents the opening in my heart for the love that we are supposed to feel for each other, you know, just to let the light shine through. Then we have No Woman, No Cry, which is just a beautiful song written by Bob Marley that has touched the hearts of so many people over the years. And as as that album goes, I realized that these songs have really made a humongous difference in the hearts and souls and minds of the people that have heard them. So I love them all. <laughs> uh-huh. We know that you had a school, we had abandoned school, uh, Sensational Chandeliers. <laughs> Is that, did, that, did we say that right? Uh, and <laughs> His great reaction look. <laughs> <laughs> and we're wondering if you remember any songs from there that you want to share. <laughs> My school friends would be dying now because they always say I got the name wrong. (laughs) I keep forgetting to say the name right. But yeah, we were, you know, four of us um, in school decided we were going to imitate the Supremes and Martha and the Vandellas and all the, you know, those uh, pop groups of the 60s because we were kids at school at the time. And uh, oh, my goodness. I think that that was just the roadmap for us, you know, those great singers uh, from the 60s. Um, one of my favorite um, artists at the time was Sam Cooke, and I listened to him every day. I loved him and the way he sang so much. So, you know, th- th- this was the roadmap, and I think maybe that's what helped me to be where, where how I became a singer is probably because of those singers. Um, we've mentioned before that you were on stage for a while before the ultimate phone call from Frank, Frank Variano. Um, yeah. We know that you were on stage from 1969 and that you were performing in musicals. No, 1970. 1970. The, well, uh, yes, mm-hmm. the professional yeah. side. Mm-hmm. The, um, the, <laughs> the sensational Chatelets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Professional from 1966, you know, we just messed around and tried to be something. Uh, but my real career started in 1970. And uh, we, we mentioned that you were in musicals before. So when uh, yes. you got an opportunity to step on stage professionally, was it a challenge? Uh, was it a professional challenge for you? Or did you feel already ready fully grounded fully this is this is my moment to shine that's such a cool question um i remember clearly (laughs) when i arrived in berlin uh to join the musical i had never been in a theater before or even seen a professional uh play and um i became like a skinny dizzy crazy happy out out of this world, young lady. I was jumping up and down upstairs, like, oh my God, I'm going to be a part of this. Yeah. You know, it's like, wow. <laughs> 
when you mentioned about reacting to the musical and to the stage for the first time, that was when that was at the very beginning of your career. What about now? Mm-hmm. Because you already had so much experience on stage, you're bringing so much happiness to people every single day through your shining music. So, is there still room for surprise, room for the unknown, room to for you to react the same way you reacted when you saw the stage for the first time? Oh yeah, every audience is different, every audience is new, and every audience you know they come for what they need and i'm doing the best that i can obviously to fulfill everybody's desires and dreams uh, of happiness for that hour or an hour 10 minutes however long it may be <laughs> mm-hmm. on your long journey um of course when an artist and a performer has gone through so many different stages and hence has been performing for so long there's got to be a sense of incredible gratitude and thankfulness what do you feel the, who do you feel the gratitude to or what situation do you feel the gratitude to when you perform to god i am um, eternally grateful to the father in heaven for the opportunities that he has placed in front of me uh, for the uh, protection that he has given me for the guidance <laughs> you know the people that he has placed in my path um i have been so blessed in so many ways 